secret of the fact <laughs> that I grew up on the mean streets of Milwaukee. I'd, uh, I'd ride my bike down those mean streets to Lorette's to buy baseball cards for a nickel. I'd spend nickel. hours positioning those, those little green army men in the backyard. And, and I was always hoping that Christmas would bring not a Red Rider BB gun, but the coolest army tank ever. This is Tiger Joe. Gigantic. With walkie-talkie operator, machine gunner, Tiger Joe, rugged, powerful, ready for battle. So uh, what's the point? Uh, nothing really. <laughs> Just saying that in the Eastern Conference semis, the Bucks went full Tiger Joe on the Boston Celtics. They wrapped it up in five tonight at Fiserv Forum. Might be Forum. the funniest oh. kid ever. <laughs> and, <laughs> I mean, God. Leave come it. on, Tiger Joe. Come along with you. Oh. Come on, man. Give me that. I got the new Tiger Joe. Come oh. over to my house. Yeah. Get that out of here. Tiger Joe. Oh, it was, oh that, was, that thing was the greatest. This, had a fun, this was a fight. I'd have stopped it. Uh, Gordon Hayward there. Hey, in the towel. Part of a in the towel. early 12-0 Boston my man, run. What's my man in Rocky? Throw in the damn towel. More Mark. Throw in the damn towel. Throw in the towel. <laughs> in the towel. Uh, Chris Middleton. <laughs> ball head black guy. Yeah, the ball head black guy. Throw in the hell of him. Get by the dial, rock! It was a 13-0 bridge between the first and second quarters. George Hill, 38-25. Jack, by the damn dial! Kyrie had 15 on 6 of 21 shooters. Jimmy, music please. Milwaukee goes 12-2 on him. Come on, this is a clincher. You can't do that to Milwaukee, Don. You can't do You're that. Right. You can't do that. You're oh, right. watch this. One more. Oh, come on. Just yeah. Go. Chris Middleton for three. He had 19. Oh, boy, I can't wait to get to the main. There's a steal. Here's a free. Uh -huh. I, hope the, I hope the Brewers in town. I can see Ryan Braun, Christian Lellett, Yellett. Uh. I can't wait to get to, uh, to see the Brewers play. Watch the Bucks here. Oh, give me that. Uh, Ernie, this was, get, uh, we were all watching all this back in the back. Yeah. This one you know the Celtics had officially packed it in. That's two. This is officially when you were doing the one, two, three Cancun, honey. Another one? Get another offensive rebound. Come on, man. This was ridiculous. Man, you get no way. Finally. Five. Let's <laughs> come on. Five, five on, man. man. This you is give me five shots at the basket. Come on, right this now, is ridiculous. Can... Are you talking about these dudes ain't quit? Are you kidding me? Dang. Don't get me that. Oh. Nope, foul on the floor. The freak. Oh, don't lay that up. Dunk that. Nah, we good. We can oh. lay this too. Nah, we're back. <laughs> 91 7. Go get that. Go get that, George Hill. Go get that, George Hill. I think we go. Hey, listen, we're going to see Aaron Rodgers going to be there. Check, you want to go catch some passes from Aaron Rodgers? Yeah, let's do it. Let's do it. 116. You can be an offensive lineman. I'll be on oh, no, tight end, baby. You're tight 91. End. The Bucks. Ain't nothing tight about your end, Chuck. Now the best record in the postseason at 8 and 1. Seven of those wins by double digits. And here is Coach Bud. Why do you think people are so quick to still underestimate this team? I don't give any thought to those people. There's going to be a lot of people that are going to doubt us, and, um, and that's the world uh, of basketball, you know, and that's the world of uh, media. No disrespect. There's going to be people that are going to be with us, and there's going to be people that are going to be against us and don't believe in us. But at the end of the day, uh, we realize that we've never been there before, uh, but we're really, really hungry to uh, you know, achieve our goals. They are one hell of a basketball team. They were tremendous. Um, and credit them, credit their coaches, credit their players. Um, you know, they're better than we are. I mean, you know, truth be told, it's, it's no time to be disappointed. I, I think that, um, you know, you take your lessons, you, you take your ass whooping that they handed us, um, and you move on. We didn't meet the outside expectations. Um, and we, ro we really rode a roller coaster a lot of the year. I'll be the first to say that this is, you know, as far as any other year that I've been a head coach, 
it's certainly been the most trying. I think I've done a, I did a, I did a bad job. Like at the end of the day, like as a coach, if your team doesn't find its best fit together, that's on you. What kind of things are you looking for, I guess, in your life? Um, and what kind of things, kind of situations would be a positive situation that you want to be in when you look I'm, I'm going to be honest with you. I'm just trying to make it back to Boston first, you know, safely. Um, and get to see my family, decompress, you know, do what human beings do. So the Milwaukee Bucks go to the Eastern Conference Finals for the first time since 2001. And... Uh, Outscored the Celtic bench by 51 points. In this game or the whole series? In that series. <laughs> uh, we're going to talk about this in just a second, but uh, if you're just joining us, we, uh, you know, we saw the Golden State-Houston game and you saw Kevin Durant leave with about two minutes to go in the third quarter with a what's called a right calf strain. Let's see if we get anything new on that or more information. Allie LaForce worked the sidelines there. Allie, uh, what's the latest you're hearing? Hey, Ernie, obviously, despite the Golden State Warriors victory tonight, everybody is extremely concerned and a bit shaken up over the status of Kevin Durant and that right calf strain. Uh, he's getting an MRI tomorrow, and the team just told me that they are not sure if he will travel with the team, depending on the results of the MRI. Now, it was a bit of a relief that it was just a right calf strain because the way he looked back after the injury made everybody think that it could potentially be his Achilles. We even mentioned that on the air. That was all speculation, but just judging by how Achilles injuries have looked in the past. It looked similar. Follow that with the fact that DeMarcus Cousins ran back after him um, and was the first one to the locker room after he was injured. That obviously set off a lot of red flags as well. So it was, if you will, good news that it was a right calf strain. We'll know more with the MRI tomorrow. I've been asking around and if it's a, a solid right calf strain, I mean, that can take multiple weeks to recover from. So we'll stay on top of this story and, and let you know the latest as soon as we find out tomorrow. Allie, great job out there in Oakland. Thanks for the update. Um, and now let's let's talk about what we just saw with Boston and Milwaukee. And this is a uh, this is a there was a lot said in that post game rip that uh, that you heard um, about expectations. Uh, Brad well, Stevens saying, "Hey, well, look, was, I'll take responsibility and that kind of." I, thing. I, I appreciate Brad taking responsibility. I didn't like the fact. He said, we didn't meet outside expectations. What about inside? What about inside? Danny Ainge put together a team that made it to the one game from the finals last year, bring back two all-stars, bring back two all-star players. And, you t he, and he, that ain't got nothing to do with outside expectations. That was inside expectation. If you go back to the beginning of the season, I think most experts, and there's no such thing as an expert, it's just a bunch of jackasses like us on TV giving our I'm opinion. I'm not a jackass. Well, you're just an ass. <laughs> but I think most people pick the Boston Celtics to win the Eastern Conference. Without question. And they've been awful all year. Awful's uh, a little harsh, don't you think? Ernie, no, they should right. not be a number five seed. <clears throat> in the, right. Ernie, they, with all the talent they got, they shouldn't be a number five seed in the playoffs. They were, uh, uh, come on, man. And the coach said. Well, 49, 49 wins and a four seed. And the yeah, yeah, yeah. After they made it to the country round and brought back two all-stars. They said, this is ridiculous right here, Ernie. And the coach even said, Ernie, he said, you know, I've been a coach for a long time, but this has been the most trying season. So that's just telling you there that everybody in the locker room was not on the same page. If they had any this is as a macrocosm. I hate using that big word because Shaq and Kenny don't know what I mean. This is a microcosm of the, of the Celtics season right here. You give a team five shots. We always used to say we don't know which Celtics team is going to show up. But I know where they're going tonight. You, you, you know what, Ernie, and, it, and, it, and I tell you what, it really pisses me off, to be honest with you, as a player. Uh, and what I mean by that is, and Shaq and Kidd know what I mean, ain't nothing worse than having a lot of talent and your team sucks. Like, most of the time you play in the NBA, you kill to have a good team. Am I right, Kenny? Great. And when you have a good team and it don't work, it's the worst feeling in the world. Because there's teams out there, like, uh, who work hard all the time. And the coaches be like, I wish I had some players. The Celtics got plenty of players. And that was not, uh, this was an awful year. Awful year for the Celtics. And any, any doubt that Kyrie Irving is out the door? Well, I, I, I'm still speculative, um, but I, I, I will speak on 
reality. I think the one thing that we're here for is to, you know, we, you can hear people say on television, well, they don't look like they're getting along. Or they don't look like they Look at the way he's walking in the locker room. Look where he's sitting on the bench. They don't know. And, and, and honestly, we're here because we can read through all of that. And we can say what chemistry really is. And when you looked at the Celtics from start to finish, the chemistry, this is what wasn't there. From guys who've been in locker rooms with chemistry. And what that means is, I have a belief that the person next to me is going to do this job regardless of the circumstances. And you can read through it as a player, a former player, a, f- a coach, mm-hmm. or any China championship pedigree person can look at a game and see that that didn't exist with the Boston Celtics throughout a regular period, a, a large period of the regular season. They don't There's, like each other it, it, at all. You don't have to be in the <laughs> locker don't, room. You don't, don't, don't have to hear I don't know if it's like, dislike. I just know that it wasn't that, that there. They don't like each other. They don't like, they don't like the newness of what happened. Last year, they, had, they didn't have certain big-name guys, and we made it all the way to the Eastern Conference Finals, all the way to the Finals. Now you get these superstars coming here trying to change things, not involved us, telling us what Here it is, go. Shaq. I agree. And that's what messed And you know, what it, you know what it is? It was reluctant participation. I reluctantly give you the ball at times. I make. I, I reluctantly come over. I'll do it, but it's reluctant. Right. It, it wasn't free will at all. It didn't look free will, but but short spats at the NBA season. It didn't look last year. It was free will. It was man. That is beautiful to watch. These guys are sacrificing for each other. They're doing everything. Yeah, this year it was reluctant participation. Yeah, yeah. And, you, and you know Rosier is pissed. Yeah. Oh. All Rosier is a guy. Uh, that can play. Who can really play, who says, I'm trying to get a contract. I'm not getting any minutes, and we're not winning. This ain't fair. He ain't going to be happy. I understand that. This man got to feed his family. And they got a guy who, who, making, who got a $100 million deal, who he got, Rozier got them to the Eastern Conference Finals, one game away from the finals. He's not getting any run. That, 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 this thing was just screwed up from the beginning. And, uh, and because of, of how everything folded out, everybody's money will be affected. Oh, no question. question. Yes. Yeah, no question. Meantime, on the Bucks side, who has a better chance of beating the Milwaukee Bucks in the Eastern Conference Oof. Finals, Philly or Toronto? Toronto. Nobody. Toronto because I would pay to see Kawhi Leonard against Giannis. Now, I would pay to see that. That is a heavyweight slugfest. I would say because of the way they're playing, Toronto has a better chance. They have elevated their game as a team, not as a, just an individual with, with Durant, I mean with uh, Kawhi, but as a team with Gasol and uh, Baca and, Ka- and Kyle Lowry. Everyone has elevated their game, even Kyle Lowry, in the NBA playoffs. And Kenny, you mentioned about, about us knowing. I'm watching Giannis closely. After the win tonight, he ain't happy. He, no. he didn't celebrate. He didn't yeah, celebrate. Not, he not happy. satisfied. Yeah. I seen that look before. I'm Where was it? Milwaukee. I, Where where'd you see it? A lot of people. Kobe, LeBron, okay. D Wade. Like I, I seen that look before. Like hey, I'm focused. This is okay, but we still got. Work. Oh, you okay. had that look a few times. Well, thank you, but I didn't want. to I, I want yeah. to see. Wait, you don't want to talk about yourself? Wait, you don't want to talk about yourself? Talk about me. Did you just say? Did you just say you didn't want to talk about? Show me a clip where I talk about myself right now. Oh, hey, just put on any show. Hey, let's let's show you one more clip <laughs> before we before we go off on our fishing expedition, um, because it was 49 years ago. Wow! To the day that Marv Albert, who called that Milwaukee game, was also uh, calling uh, a pretty significant years. game in the New York Knicks history. Remember the Willis Reed game? Marv was calling that. <laughs> 